I begin blocking in some areas with a tiny piece of charcoal stick and smudge with my finger. I also block in areas with a dirty chamois. in a couple strands of air for with my 6B charcoal pencil, smudge the charcoal with my finger, and repeat. Then I jump back onto blocking in charcoal on the face with a pencil because, well, I tend to jump around a lot instead of finishing one portion at a time. Now onto the other ear with a pencil and smudge the entire ear with a dirty chamois. Now back to the face with the pencil and chamois. Basically, I'm just going to keep jumping around, building up layers with my pencil, and smudging with the chamois or finger. I smudge the dirty chamois on the eyes. At this point, I am trying to fix the eye position because when I transferred it to the piece of paper, it did not show up very well, and I happen to smudge black over them. But I jump back into the ears, and I'm going to finish fixing the eyes later. See, told you I jump around a lot. Jumping onto the nose, just blocking in and smudging. I also have to erase a part because I am going to add a highlight to that part of the nose with my white charcoal. I jump onto blocking in the muzzle with a white charcoal pencil and block it in with a dirty chamois that has a corner of white charcoal. And I am marking in black spots as well. Here I go jumping all over the place again. I move on to the bandana with a dirty chamois cloth, pencil and some white charcoal and smudge it with the cloth for the first layer. It ends up being too light for my liking so I'm going to go add in some more white. I also add in some black and smudge it as well. I'm trying to get the value of the bandana the way I want it. I lay off the bandana for a sec to add in a little neck fur and the remaining fur from her face. Jump into the bandana and then jump to her legs. Yay, we're jumping, jump, 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 jump. I say jump too much. I also say chamois too much, smudge, and all that stuff. Anyway, let me talk a bit more about oh, this little girl right here. So I'm going to slow the video down a bit because I'm going to do a lot of talking here. Um, well, it all started when our neighbor's two dogs got out together somehow and neither of them happened to be fixed and mama was in heat. <laughs> You know, a mom's a Shih Tzu and a father's a Labrador. Don't ask me how the mom survived that pregnancy. Well, at least she got fixed afterwards. Anyway, um, when the litter of five were old enough, we adopted this baby right here. And um, our Boston Terrier and her became great friends. They would play together. It's sometimes a bit rough. She would nip him in the cheeks and all that stuff. He seemed to like it though. I don't know why. And they would have their little lovey sessions of kisses and all that stuff. And sometimes they do get a little humpy, but we tell them to stop doing that. <laughs> anyway, so sometimes she could be a little scary and she would growl. <laughs> but she did it for attention or something. If you don't pay attention to her, she'd be like, brrr, and all that stuff. But anyway, so she was a sweetheart though. And I remember every time I come home, I would go to my room and she happens to just run into my room, jumps on the bed, lays down while wagging her tail, and I would give her all these pet pets and head rubs and kisses. And sometimes when you do come home, she would greet you and she would put her nose in your private area. Yeah, she was a little nosy, so to speak. As much as she loved playing with her Boston and everything, but she was kind of a lazy dog too, even on walks. But I'll tell you why. Until her last year of life, she was getting sick a little more often than usual. Um, we would treat her at home and she would start feeling better, but this was happening a little too often. And one day, yeah, everything started going down from there, which was last year in August. We took her to the vet, hoping it could be something that was, you know, an easy treatment or whatever. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I can't remember the name of it, but it turns out that she had an autoimmune disease that destroyed her red blood cells. They said she needed a transfusion, but the vet also said at this point that the chance of survival was pretty much none. We also had the option to put her down, but my mom wanted to try to give her a chance, and so they sent us home with a steroid treatment, but about an hour later, after the vet appointment, at the age of three and a half, she passed away. So yeah, so it's uh, already been a little over a year since she's gone. Um, August 8th, actually, that's when we lost her. and. Prior to that, a couple of her siblings passed away as well, so 
I don't know. They have something going on. I don't know about the other two. I think they're okay. <sighs> so anyway, so this anniversary came and that's the reason why I did this drawing and yeah. And here is the finish of this portrait. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.